blog, but like I said, this is completely different to me. You know how it always works out? All right, Bart Chuck in the house. Can you hear me, Bart? Yep. What's up, boss? Doing good. Good to see you, man. I like this. It's like we're face to face for the first time. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. I like the setup of this um the stream yards. Yeah, StreamYard, because I can actually click on people, you know, and, and check you out. I used to do, you know, the face, the YouTube lives, the more not, not as personal, but this is sweet, dude. Yeah. So when I put the link in, it showed up in the feed, right? Is that how it worked out again, or did you get it from your address? Or I, your got, I got it from the email. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay. So when, you, so when you sent it to me, um, I'm, I'm on my phone. So yeah, I clicked on it, and then it sent me through uh, Safari, and I logged back in through uh, Streamyard through the YouTube. Okay, well, I'm definitely glad you're here, man. Yeah, that's awesome. To be here. So yeah, today we're gonna be talking about some worms, you know, and I'm I want the experts in here to to help me out, you know. So oh yeah, so, so yeah. So if anyone has questions about worms, shoot them out because. We'll be able to answer your question, and uh, and how how it plays out. If you have a question, hit a Q. Let me get this set up, and then um, give me a second. Give me one minute. Like I said, I gotta set you down for a second. Yeah. But I'm not gonna leave you. You you'll go ahead and be a professional after another couple times. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's always the first time. <laughs> yeah, but there's no echo. So that's good. Let's see. Here it is. That's how you do it. If you got a question, you just put a cue and like do worms talk and art, you know. Rick uh Bob Chuckle and I can answer your question, or who else steps into this live feed can answer your question. You know, yep. you got me you got me jealous though. Um I can call you RB because I went to the guy, his name was RB. Okay. You jealous. Yeah, because your your weather's nice, man, and I'm jealous. Well, about... it's, it, we, we were just uh, 60 degrees this morning, and this cold front came through. It's it's down around uh, the mid 30s right now. So okay, but, you know, so it was it was a big drop in uh, temperature. But besides that, it, it's it's not too too bad right now. Okay, excuse me for one second. Let me grab my headphones. See if this works with my headphones. Okay. And then just in case uh, anybody that's watching, my name's Rick. Uh, I have the channel Gardening with Bar Chuck, and I do uh, worm videos and also uh, do some gardening stuff. I just made some raised beds for the backyard and um, uh, just recently harvested some castings. I have a one-pound red wiggler bin, so that was pretty nice. I got uh, 12 pounds of castings uh, from that bin, and uh, it was a harvest after about two and a half months. Yeah, and it's cool because you um you asked me who to get worms from, and um you went through Northeast Worms and got your worms from him. Great yep. guy. Yeah, I promote so many people because everyone's good, and the people that I, I promote, they don't have beef with other worm farmers, and that's what I like. You know what I mean? Because back in the day, I used to be um competitive. You know what I mean? I didn't want people to know what I know, but there's so many people in the world. There's no way you can keep information from so, from so many people, yep. and we need each other to be successful in life. You know what I mean? Yep. The garden warm ladies here. Hey! Hey, look who's in! The hey, VIP! Hey. All rise! The president's here! <laughs> yes, yes! Hey, I appreciate you coming in. The thing that's crazy is um, different times, and it's hard to connect with people. But I have a question. I'm going to put it up here, and um, we're going to answer that, okay? Okay. Introduce yourself, garden lady, and tell them what you do, if you don't mind. Where's the question? <laughs> the question there. I don't see a, a chat on the side. Okay. okay. What oh. is the best container to use for your worm farm? We we're thinking about using watering totes. What are your thoughts on that approach? Um, what are watering totes? Yeah, like I don't know. What, what, totes from, from like Walmart? Yeah, water, oh, water. Does he mean like a water trough for like livestock? Is that what you mean, Matt Acres? Like a, a big livestock livestock trough? 
because I've seen people raise worms in, in troughs. I have. That's, that's what I want to do. I want to get a trough and just have it outside all year, but it gets like 15, sometimes 50 below here, and my worms would right. make it. The worms, so yeah, they'll be okay. Nice. They'll be you okay. Yeah, you that's just have good. to drill holes at the bottom of it so that okay. they can wait for the winter, and then they'll come back. And if okay, you I'm cover gonna... the sides of your trough with straw, Okay. Insulate the top, they'll be okay. Okay. So so yeah. here's here's one of the bins that I, I have. It's a tote. It's yeah, uh, I it's it's 14 gallons. I picked I it up at uh, like Lowe's. Mm -hmm. And um the very first worm bit I did, I drilled holes in the bottom and had like a plate or a little uh bit of plastic underneath. And yeah. and, and about I don't know, about six months ago, they all started kind of like leaving. So, so I was like, ooh, <laughs> so it was weird. Um, yeah, so it is weird. With these, I didn't, I didn't drill any uh, holes in the bottom. Uh, yeah. I have holes at the top and uh, the top and like the sides. Um, so I notice that they do crawl on the sides a little bit, especially, mm -hmm. um, you know, kind of when we have storms. So I don't know with the, with the worms I got, there's probably some blues in there, but okay. um, but they seem to be doing a lot better now in in this type of setup for me. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to drill holes at the bottom of a container like that if you learn how to control your moisture. Any any worm bin that has that leachate coming out of it, it's it's too wet. And that leachate, people don't use it. It's toxic. It is not a worm pee. It, it's really toxic, and you should just discard it. Um, the reason they climb on the walls at that is because they need the moisture. So maybe your bin is a little dry. Okay. Um, worms like it more on the wet side, but not drowning. But they would always prefer more, a little more wet than dry. Gotcha, I know gotcha. that. Yeah, my African night crawlers right now are not doing well. When we oh. had the ice storm here, they're in my basement. My house hit about 60. And yeah. I have a few that are surviving, but they, they don't, they're both sensitive. So we'll see what's going to happen. Could, I'm sorry. I said I wish I could get with African night crawlers, but they wouldn't make it because um, in my basement, it's pretty cold, probably about 50, 60. I don't really know. But, yeah, they're not going to make it unless yeah, you keep them upstairs. Um, they're a good worm and they're big, but they're they're kind of fussy and they need like a lot of attention. I think um, more than the others because of that. But they're a fun worm to have if you want one, you know. But they're definitely fussy. That's why you don't see a lot of worm farmers raising them. Yeah. yeah. A few because of that, because it's it's a lot of work. Yeah, I see, I see the, one, I seen the, uh, the one message come in. Yeah, that, that uh, one that I showed is a 14-gallon container. So it's a little uh, shorter. And then I have a 28-gallon container that's a little taller. Hey, um, Matt Acres, I don't need a mod for now because um, cause it's new. But if I ever need a moderator, I'll definitely use one. But just oh, hopefully, yeah, yeah. you know, everyone's professional. I just hate when you get the, the trolls, you know what I mean? The thing that, yeah. that bothers me about trolls, they can do the same thing we do. We just oh, yeah. choose to jerks. <laughs> you can but use a 17-gallon container. You can use any container. Yeah. Mm -hmm. any, any Anything, really. Anything. And, and like you like upcycling things, AJ, you know, if someone doesn't need one of those containers, just ask them for it. Most people will give you one for free. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I've, got, I've got garbage pinking in the rich neighborhoods. <laughs> I got you. That's right. That's right. That's so I got a question. What you find there. Um, yeah. I got a question for both of you and the viewers too. Um, were you embarrassed to talk about worms when you first got them? You know what I mean? Were you kind of like, Cause I was embarrassed. I was like, "Oh me? I don't know. Oh heck, no! I told everybody. <laughs> okay, everybody. But it, people, you know, people think I'm a little odd anyway, so that's all right. Talking on YouTube, it's Thank fine you. with it. When I was mentioning it to the guys at work, they were like, "What the heck are you doing?" <laughs> and I'm like, "I'm like, I'm trying to make some black gold for my garden, man." Exactly. <laughs> yeah, when I worked in the jail, the inmates would call me the worm lady. There's the worm lady. They didn't. Nobody cared. You know, I didn't care. I think I've just gotten so used to them for so many years that people just know me as the worm lady. 
Uh -huh. A mess in the back. Our youngest daughter decided to move back home, so okay, we're not empty nesters anymore. So she got all her stuff. So, oh well, it's all right. Yeah. Um. On my channel, I always promote people. I sell an R um RV. <laughs> it is RV basically. Yeah, yeah. But um, like it's I was telling, I'm not a, I'm not scared of competition. I'm not anymore. I'm older, and I'm like, we got to get the word out to help other people and educate them about the benefits of having worms. Oh yeah, absolutely. I don't see um worm farming as a competition because there's such a great need for it. And there's such a worm shortage in our country right now. Like Mimi's, Samantha from Mimi's, you know, me and her talk a lot. She agrees with me. It's not a competition. You know, it's we got to get them out there because they'll, they'll help eat everyone's scraps. And there's there's plenty to go around, you know. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. A lot of people start and don't make it. But, you know, by little tips that we can share, then hopefully they'll be successful. Yep, exactly. But so, you'll know um, you have food, Rick, if they're they're thin and their clitellum is like very, very flat against the body, you'll know that they're blues. And I think blues are incredible worms. I really do. Yeah, and, and that was that was my big thing. Um, it really doesn't matter. Hey Adrian. Oh, yep. Hey Adrian. It it really didn't matter to me if it's uh if it's blues or or the red wigglers. Um I, yeah. I prefer the red wigglers, but yeah, as long as as long as they're going through this this food scraps. And, and making the castings, it, it really didn't matter to me. That's that's what I that's what I did mm -hmm. too. I did I did score a um, set of pure red wigglers though, Messenia fatitas. I did get, and they weren't cheap. <laughs> but I know the farmer that sold them, and he does have pure. And I'm gonna keep them on hand, but um, I'm just gonna keep my other ones too. I mean, what's wrong with them? That's oh, yeah. the go live. Let's not give life to go live. I did a typo spelling and talking. It can't multitask. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know, I didn't know Mad Acre Farms were empty nesters. They're way too young to be empty. Yeah, yeah we, we were for a few months, but that's about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I hear you. And you're going live. When are you going to go live? Pretty soon. Um, like, um, probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. It depends. Okay. Because it's my birthday on Wednesday, and we're my daughter came home from college this weekend, so you know, we're trying to do stuff. So, uh huh. We'll see. Yeah, Usually I have a um, I, I have a road trip. I gotta take my kids to a state uh, speech contest, so I'm not gonna be back till late. So I'm gonna try to make it. You That's know, what okay. I mean, I want to make it so I can uh, be there, but. I might be tired, but there's no excuses for my BFFs. <laughs> yeah. Another question, too, if you guys want to answer it. Do you sell your compost and tea, and what do you normally sell it for? Rick, you sell your compost? <laughs> I, I, can, I can answer this right now. I do not sell anything because I don't have that much. I just harvested my first batch, and it was only about uh, 12 pounds. So, so that's going to be all for me for right now. But uh, I do, you know, try to do the videos and I probably will do some worm tea and show, you know, show you how I'm going to make it and, and, you know, put it in the garden. But but for right now, no, nope, I'm not selling anything. I got to do my bin for I do, my, I do my castings. <laughs> is that your bin? Yeah, I see them in the back. I just got the shelving because my basement was like, you can see like stuff over there doing laundry and stuff, but. I like it's more organized. I can actually get the stuff. You know, oh, absolutely. It makes it easier like, to work with. Plus, I'm getting old, you know? <laughs> so I got to. My dad always told me, you're as old as you think up here. When you decide yeah. up here, you're going to be old, then you're old. So. Exactly. But I do sell my castings. Um, I don't remember how much I sell it for. It's on my website. Yeah. And I'm um, going to start. Um, selling more of my chow because people are asking me for it. And now that I fixed my solution with the machine, so I'm going to take it outside. Oh, here. And there's another question for you about your channel garden lady. Um, He just wants to know your channel name and it's What's the garden worm name? lady. The yeah. garden. Yeah. The garden and worm lady. Yep. And I just did a video. I gave her a shout out for her business. So oh, I loved it. yeah, that was very good. That's cool. I, uh, my husband got in a car crash the day before oh. yesterday. He totaled his car. He's okay, though. Okay. okay. Sorry, I, he I got a rental, and I saw your thing pop up, and I'm waiting, and I was watching, and he sees me laughing, and he comes, what are you laughing at? 
I said, look at AJ Foot because he knows who you are. You know? <laughs> so we watched it again. Thank you. That was so sweet. Yeah. Like I said, only give it out to people that I really care for. And you guys are great people. You know, this community oh, is great. And... See, I mean, even I he said I that. Your channel from the beginning, Rick, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and AJ, I think I came in on your channel when you, I think you only had about 600 subscribers. Yeah. And then it grew from there. Mm -hmm. yeah, I know, I know AJ was one of my first, uh, probably in the 10 or 15 range, mm -hmm. of, you know, starting off. So I really appreciate it. You know, he's doing a great yeah. job, uh, really promoting channels and, and helping to get, you know, the, the word of the worms out there and then, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, kind of bringing a, a nice group of people together. Yeah. And I've been watching your videos, AJ. I watch everyone's videos. I just don't comment all the time because I put them on in the background while I work. Um, and you're you're giving out a lot of good worm information. Yeah, but I'm still learning. Yeah. Like I said, the, the thing that makes us all unique is we all put different things in our worm bins, and everyone's successful. You know what I mean? And yeah. um, I wish or you're um, killable, like I did. I killed worms in my 20 years several times. Okay, it, it just happens sometimes. Yeah. You, you can't control everything, or you do stupid things. You know, like I've yeah. I've done. Few things. <laughs> you know, the worst thing I ever did was the worst thing I ever did was freeze my worms, and my wife said they wouldn't come in the house, and I snuck them bad boys there. My necks hurt because I'm like, I can't afford to waste another forty dollars. You know, <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Because it's a good investment, and you try to take care of it. But now it's like, uh -uh. they're in the house. She knows they won't get out of the bed, and like on my one my one video, they won't crawl upstairs, get in your bed, and cuddle. So. Oh. I don't know why people think worms are gonna, you know, crawl on you like a spider. <laughs> Movies kind of trick them. Yeah, we're all weirdos, Adrian. We're all weirdos. That's okay. Yeah, that's all right. People and, call me weirdo. That's okay. But people have gotten used to me by now. Yep, you're right about feeding the the worm food, the scraps. Because yeah, a lot of people we need to be educated. I have a, a workshop at my YMCA in April. Uh -huh. To educate me and another guy, his name's James, and he has worms. He lives right down the road from me. And we're going to get together and do a little workshop at the Y. We're not going to, like, you know, give 100 worms this time. We just want to get people started and familiarize with what worms are going to do. Thank you, New Orleans Garden, for stopping by. I appreciate you coming by. Seriously, it's, it means a lot to uh, me and the community. Enjoy your dinner. Yeah. But yeah, I'm looking forward to doing this workshop, you know, just to educate people. Yeah, now, my kitchen crazy. worms upstairs, I give my kitchen worms upstairs everything. Okay. I don't need a whole bag of lemons, but if I use a lime to season something, I throw it in there. They get onions, garlic, everything. And I've never had a problem. Of course, okay. it's moderation. Don't go throwing like 10 onions in there. <laughs> but if I chop up one onion for my dinner, I throw all the scraps in there. They eat everything. They really do. Um, Samantha from Mimi's Worms, she does the same thing. Mm -hmm. So I think there's just a lot of misinformation out there. You know what's cool though? Um, I got this stream today. It's hard to everyone works different schedules. It's hard to connect. But you got one going tomorrow, and then Mimi Farm she does one on Sundays. Yeah. So there's there's one tomorrow if you want to connect with you know the Garden Worm Lady, and then there's Mimi yeah. Farm and she's live. So. Yeah, her name is Samantha, and she's been worm farming, I think, um, professionally for about four years now. And uh, she's got a big farm and her family, you know. Because yeah. I asked her in the comments, I said, um, the thing I like about you as a person, you're not scared of competition. You know, she shares her business. She shows you yes. how she makes things. I'm like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know you. Yeah. we all have our secrets. We don't want to give them all the secret sauces, but. But just the basic yeah. to motivate people. Well, I give out my basic travel recipe, but um, the one that I sell, I don't give out. Okay. I can understand. Myself, you know, yeah, I think Gatano needs to hide his. So <laughs> he even told me, I'm going to take down my worm chow recipe. <laughs> but it's out there. So he might have to tweak it a little bit. So just to touch back on, uh, you know, some of the, like the, the no no foods. Um, so through Amiga, Adrian it, speaks Spanish. That's so cool. It, He's the, awesome. Uh, in the house, I just do, you know, kind of my normal scraps. I have an out, outdoor compost bin, and that's what I throw everything in. So onions, 
uh, citrus, um, yeah, peppers, whatever that goes outside. Right. They don't like it. The worms can go down or go into a different part of the garden. And when it kind of calms down, then they can get back into the compost. But the outdoor, that that's kind of like my no rules. I'll throw whatever in that one. And I'll bet you the worms attack that one. They, I bet you they go after it up there. Oh, yeah, yeah, like my, my blue barrel in the yard, it's the no mm -hmm. rule barrel. I've even put dead animals in there that I find on my property. Yeah. And and they eat it, all of it. Yeah. Well, it's, it's going to lay dead in the forest. I might as well just be in my worm bin, you know, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's all about that bacteria. Do worms talk? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Worms don't talk, but I think that they have personalities. Yeah. Because all my all my worms, the different species, they behave different. They have different likes and dislikes. And I, I've seen them for years. Yeah. Like like European nightcrawlers are amazing worms, but they're like kind of amazing. And then you got the blues who are thin and like wild. You know, they're ready to party. Mm hmm exactly. The red wigglers are neutral. They're just like chill worm. So they they all act different. And the African night crows, well, you don't you never know with them. It depends on the hot or cold, whether they think they're on the beach or in a blizzard. <laughs> that depends how they move or not. Yeah. But they, they all behave different. Mm-hmm. But you know. So yeah, Rick, gotta get, you're gonna do some euros, tell me and I'll send you some. Okay. But set up your bin first. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was that would be the the only other uh, type that I would be interested in doing right now would be European night crawlers, in yeah. addition to the red wigglers. But um, you know, like I said, I, this this new bin that I have with the with the pound, I'm I'm loving it. They are just tearing through food and and making castings. It's it's awesome. I You're wish I wish I would have did it sooner. You know? That's okay. Spring is coming. You'll have plenty for your garden. Oh yeah. Have you been shopping for seeds? This year, not really. Um, <laughs> I kind of, I kind of got into it a little bit last year, but I've, I've kind of been busy with work and different stuff, so I haven't had as much time. But you know, um, I know I watched you last year. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was, I was going, I was going crazy ordering stuff yeah. all the time too. I still, I still have some stuff that I need to order. The last oh thing God. I need is more seeds, but I'll probably get some. What I thought was, where is he going to fit it all? Where And then I, I watched you do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, they'll, they'll last you a few years. You know, you don't have to worry about them. Yeah. And and um, basically, I started a um, some hot peppers that my grandfather had in his fridge for about 15 years. I and agree. They actually, and they actually still germinated. Um, oh, yeah. I planted, I planted 20 and 13 germinated. So if you can keep them cool and in a dark place you know the seeds will last quite a long time yeah i had i have so many seeds i think i got rid of some it, it was just too many but this year we're doing the windrow in the in the garden at least one to start with i don't know if we're gonna do two and i'm gonna plant on the other side so we'll see oh there's one yes. of them yeah, yeah we're in the worms <laughs> look at that <laughs> You notice that the um, you notice that the Louisiana swamp worms I have don't have those little stripes. They're like a solid red. So um, what's I, different about those worms, Louisiana swamp worms? Um, they're like a cousin of the red wiggler. They're a little bigger than the red wiggler, but a little smaller than the European nightcrawler. And basically, they behave the same way. They're just red in color, and they don't have like those little stripes that these guys have. But they're they're composting everything really well. There's a question Everybody down there. Is, just take is, them yeah. is it possible so, to have too many worms in the worm bin? Yeah, it is. They'll um if they overpopulate the bin, they'll regulate themselves. They'll die off and they'll they'll make the bin enough for them. Then it's never going to overflow. It'll regulate itself. That's why my towers, when you have towers or you have a bin like yours that you want to add another layer to it, that's why people add another layer so that they can keep going. Um, because when I have my tower to six, there are worms through the entire thing. But yeah, they will regulate themselves. That's that's why when you breed, you're only really supposed to put about 500 worms to, to a bus bin, maybe. Wow. Sometimes I do less. 
because the more room they have, the more they'll breed. Okay. Pretty it's clever a, creature. Pretty clever creature, I think. I'm trying to get your website and your YouTube channels up real quick, so um, bear with me for a few minutes. So, Rick, now we know how to do the live thing yeah. at the same time. So, <laughs> well, this, this well, I, I don't know how to do it. I knew how to get in, but that's about it. <laughs> this is the one I was telling you about, the stream yard, okay. where you can <laughs> bring multiple people in. Yeah. We Well, if you set it up, I'll join, because I don't know how to set this up. You should see yeah. my I crashed this week. It was horrible. I, I went through a lot this week, guys. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I had a little technical difficulties because I did a lot of research on um, YouTube, and I still kind of had glitches. <laughs> but oh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going to invest in a webcam and all that other stuff, but my phone's doing all right for me right now. Yeah, so. yeah I'm on my laptop because my phone, I don't think, will do it. Um, yeah, are you I'm, Apple? I'm, on, I'm on my phone. So I have an older phone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, one of the the flip ones? No, no. They made me. They made me get rid of that one. I had one of those. I I liked it, but no, it, it it's an iPhone six S or something like that. Okay. It okay. does its thing, but you know. Um, yeah, boy, Chuck and upgraded the new microphone. He sounds really good on there. Yeah, yeah. You, really got it. you like it? Yeah, it it's the the new one is corded, so it's. I got to be careful and kind of pay attention to where I'm at. But uh, it, I thought it sounded good when I when I loaded it up. And uh, that's why I was like, well, let me ask before, you know, to make sure everybody can hear it well. And, yeah, everybody was, was saying it was great. Oh, yes. Yeah, it sounds really clear. It sounds really good. So, AJ, all your worms are in the basement. Do you have any upstairs in your kitchen? No, my wife would kill me. Seriously. <laughs> she would kill me. Like I said, I snuck these in the house unless she got over it. Thank God. I'm like, uh uh, she don't like watching my videos. No. <laughs> she, don't like, <laughs> she don't like worms at all. Uh, yeah, he's right about the fish tank. Fish only get so big and you can overpopulate a fish tank. So good feedback, Nate. But yeah, no, she does, does not like worms at all. Even, even my boys, they'll touch them, uh -huh. but they don't really care for them. You know? Yeah, one of my daughters likes them. The other one won't bother. She won't touch them. But the first time I got African <laughs> night crawlers, they decided to crawl out of the bin. And my husband came downstairs and he, V, V, there's snakes on the floor. Mm. He didn't know I had them. I said, they're not snakes. <laughs> they're African night crawlers. <laughs> anyway, I ended up killing that entire bin. I don't know what I did. This was like 10 years ago. So, what's okay. going on, worm weirdo? Yep, good to see you. He does a lot of videos. A lot of good people in here. Hi, Worm Weirdo. LP's here. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Yeah, if you have any questions, shoot them in the chat. And like I said, if you want to become on the live stream, anyone, shoot that link. Because I have it where you had to authenticate. I don't know how that process worked, but... I don't want spammers in here. I had them on YouTube, on my YouTube lives, and it's like they waste your time. It's like, come on, man. I had a few too. I don't, I don't, I block them. I get rid of them. But yeah, it's annoying. Um, I, I run into a lot of scammers on eBay. And uh, yeah, sometimes it, that's challenging. I do sell a lot of worms on eBay, but my gosh, there are some people that are unbelievable. Mm hmm. So do you have problems with scammers like trying to buy something from you? You know? Yeah, what they'll do is they'll they'll like order worms and say they didn't arrive or they arrived dead or you know, just like all this stuff, but yeah. Uh, or or tell me, show me a different picture of a different worm because I have a way of arranging the shipping box that I know if it's mine or not. It's a trick mm -hmm. I up with and uh, they send me pictures of something else and I'm like that's those are not my worms. Mm -hmm. uh, eBay usually is on my side, but you know I had some lady leave a crazy comment on my page and uh she never even contacted me first. She says they died, but I know they didn't die. But I would have still worked with her because I like having good customer service and you know but that's all right. Yeah. 
But there's, yeah, so many dishonest there's people. A lot of weirdos world. out there. So, you know, yeah. not just weirdos like us, like the real weirdos. Yeah, exactly. Weirdos. But yeah, eBay can be challenging. Um, but it's also fun. You know, I've, I've eBayed for years. You know, I call it my eBay adventures. I bought so many worms from eBay. You should see the stuff I have gotten, guys. <laughs> I got worms one time sent to me in a PVC pipe. Wow. That was interesting. Yes. Did from you, Alaska. Did you see, did you see Di, Di Can's worms on her previous video? Di Can or something? But they said yeah. her worms loose in a box. I'm like, that's weird. Oh, yeah. Did you see that? I saw that too. Yeah. And I thought the moisture and they must have crawled out. Yeah. I thought that was weird. And, and to ship that large amount, it was like eight or 10 pounds or something. Yeah. And did um, she have pot worms too in that box with the worms? You know, those, they, little, baby. those little worms, they yeah. do look like babies to me. But she did say they were pink. They didn't okay. look good on the camera, but she said they were pink. But I've never seen baby worms in clusters like that. Okay. So it didn't look like baby worms to me if I were to, you know, give my opinion. Thanks for stopping by. It's it's probably nothing to worry about. If those are pot worms, the, it'll be fine. Okay. So they, they work also composting and you know, there's just too much food or too much moisture in there and they'll 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 leave. I just so, watched the new I just watched a new person's video and um she had uh she uses like uh, the kitty litter containers. Yeah for the, the and uh I think she's gonna want to go bigger, but I told her. If you if you have your comments disabled, this only made for kids. I said that could hurt your channel because we can't connect if you only have it made for kids. And yeah, and if I would have mine like that, we never would have connected, you know, because yeah, I don't like the videos if I can't talk to you. Yeah, what the you settings. Call? There's a setting that you have to disable. Yeah, friend, yeah, a friend of mine just started a uh, a bowling channel, and I was like, oh, okay, I'll check it out, and uh, I was like. Dude, your, your comments are disabled. I said, some people, I said, if, if they can't comment, they don't even bother, you know, stopping by. Yeah, they don't. they can't kind of interact with you. Yeah. Exactly. Did he fix exactly. it? Yes. Yep. And it was, uh, he with it just starting, it was checked like for kids or or right. comments turned off or something. So so I told him, yeah. I said, check, check a couple of the, uh, the boxes. And and he was able to get it get it fixed. Yeah. Yeah, that makes a huge difference for everyone. But yeah, that'll be an issue with the comments, but you gotta disable that. <laughs> yeah. You wanna talk. <laughs> well, AJ, you gotta convince your wife to let you bring some worms upstairs. <laughs> we'll be divorced. Like I said, she is anti worms. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I can fight, but no, I'm not. I wouldn't win that battle. <laughs> oh <my> gosh! <laughs> no, I would not win that one. Yeah. Well, my post lady, she's told me, V, if they ever get loose in my car, I'm coming after you. Oh, exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> exactly. She, like she doesn't like them either. Let's see. We have uh, the six of us, three on the live and three others watching. If you want to become on the live stream, just click that link that I put up there. Um, oh it says it's open the to the public. <laughs> so if you're legit. Okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, Brooke. What's number two? Videos. I think Brooke has six subscribers right now, or maybe a little bit more than that. But she's new, and okay. I'll do some comments on her channel too to encourage her. So, well, hi, I'll, I'll look for your channel. I'll, yeah. I'll look for your channel. Yeah, let me see if I can get it up real quick. I'll put it on the link. Sure. Else wants it. Yeah. Sometimes I just write the names down so I can remember. And and the one nice thing too is um, with with gardening, you know, I, I have people I watch that are out in California, Texas, Florida. So you know, yeah. pool here, 
you know, I'm, I'm getting to see these guys and they're harvesting tomatoes and, and, you know, lettuces and all, all kinds of, uh, neat veggies. And I'm just like, man, spring can't come fast enough. Yeah. And I think I'm even colder than you are because you're, uh, I'm zone seven, seven, a, uh, you're Delaware. Maryland. Delaware. Delaware. Oh yeah. I've been through Delaware. Well, I'm in Southern Indiana, so. Yeah. yeah. Like Midwest, you guys get it kind of. Kind of we get cold, cold but not enough. like not like the northeast where I used to live in Jersey. But yeah, it gets it's cold here. We we can't wait to go outside. Yeah. Hey, um, Brooke, you guys, you can, you can uh, put your channel in the link if you can, so someone can click on that if they want to become a subscriber to your channel. Oh, that's see, uh, thank you for the kind words. See, I was the first subscriber. Oh man, I'm honored. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. I wrote down your channel, Brooke, because if I press yeah. something, I'm afraid I'll disappear. <laughs> I wrote the channel name. I wrote it down. <laughs> but, hey, but what I need you to do, okay, if, if you get tired or burnt out of making YouTube videos, please let your community know, community know because there's people I was friends with and all of a sudden stopped making videos. And um, you kind of want to know if, it's health related, you know, or something like that. But um, like in one of my videos, when I said um, when I'm no able longer to do, you know, take care of my worms, I'm the type of person I'll let you know if I have health issues and stuff. You know what I mean? You know, so yeah. it's like, like a good. Yeah, like when I had COVID for the first time last year, my worms did, they suffered. I didn't see them for about six weeks. And mm -hmm. I thought they were there, but no, they were, they were, they were still alive. They were lethargic, but they were alive and I was slowly able to bring them back. Um, but yeah, it took a while, but it goes to show how, how, um, how hardy they are because they mm -hmm. actually survived that. I mean, total neglect. You know, my family wasn't worried about my worms. They were worried if I was going to go to the hospital or not. What yeah. The and I heard you were sick twice. You know, you just had a video where you said you were sick twice. Yeah, I got, I got it again. Um, and I'm it glad was, everything's I had, like I, I had it, and it, it just, it just makes you really tired. It just takes like everything out of you as far as energy and stuff. But, and then I fell down my stairs in the front of my house on the ice, and my shoulders all bruised up, and I got. Oh no, that's not good. No. But I, I have camera watching my house for security reasons because, you know, where I worked. And I actually watched the video of me falling. And, you know, I, it's kind of funny. I had to, I got hurt, but I had to laugh. <laughs> when I went down, my chihuahua was the only one who came to my rescue. <laughs> oh, no. The other dog ran. <laughs> she came, Mom, what's wrong? Uh, so but I was able to get up and just come inside. It, it didn't break anything or anything. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's the ice, you know. That's right. Ice storms are dangerous. Yeah, they say uh, you kind of want to walk like a penguin. Real real short little steps. Yeah. Those that's right. Big strides. And, and good luck, because you're probably going to go down anyway. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She wants to know what her channels are again. You know, I'm, you know, I do worms. And when I first started out, I did everything, you know, how to be a YouTuber. And, but... But then I check my analytics, and it's more people that are U.S., you know, India, Philippines. And I'm like, yeah. okay, they're more focused on gardening, you know, stuff like, I mean, worms and, you know, stuff like that. So that's why I switched all the way over towards gardening and green topics. I wish we could talk about everything, but but people don't want to see that stuff. But yeah. she wants to know what your channel is about, you know, so. So so my name's Rick. It's Gardening with Bar Chucking. Bar Chucking is a, a nickname that I have with bowling. Um, and, uh, I do a lot of gardening in the spring, summer, fall, and then kind of in the winter, I get more into the worms. So. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <someone's laughs> <big candy. laughs> Lauren, Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's my oldest daughter. Okay. Tell us a hi. Yep. Hey. Hi. She went to get us Chinese. <laughs> So I'm I'm uh, the garden and worm lady. My name I go by V, but my name is actually Verushka. I have a Russian name, and it was hard growing up with that name. <laughs> but 
But I do everything, more worms, garden. Um, I sometimes cook with what I grow. Um, people have asked me to make cooking videos because, you know, I'm a, I worked as a correctional cook for many years and I'm, you know, I'm a chef like, so, um, mm -hmm. and I like to do that, but worming has always been my passion, you know, for, for 20 years now. So, but like, you know, I grow rosemary and people are like, what do you do with it? So I show them and then, you know, gardening. Yeah. To, for me to get food, I have to drive like so far that it's. I just go outside and pick a tomato, you know. So I don't mm -hmm. have to go all the way down because I live in the forest up on a mountain. So, mm. yeah, I don't like going that far for food if I don't. Yeah. Have so, Bar Chuckin uh, has like six billion seeds now. I'm like, man, how do you have room for all these seeds, boss? <laughs> yeah, the worst part, the worst it, part it is, is a video of people thinking about getting more. No, don't it's get more. Addictive. Have too many. I know. You can never have too much food, though. You know what I mean, especially yeah, when you're throwing up for the winters. Yeah, I seen I seen a uh, worm weirdo said she fell and had it on a uh, video. Hopefully she was okay. Oh my gosh, it was so funny. I couldn't believe it. I mean, I immediately oh, yeah, downloaded it and had to send it to my daughter, <laughs> and they were laughing. <laughs> Did you look around and make sure no one saw you? Because you no, like, no, no. there's no one here. <laughs> There's no one here. I was by myself there with my dogs. One ran and the other one came to rescue me. Yeah. It's not as bad if people don't see you when you look around, but if they see you, like, oh, I, I, rarely see, uh, I rarely see people here. Um, oh, but, man. Shit, sorry yeah. to hear that. Yeah. Oh. They had to go to the hospital. Oh, oh. no. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the ice ice is no nothing to mess around with. No. Oh. That's why I don't like winter. That's the thing because a lot of elderly people, that's when they get injured in Iowa where I live. Somebody falls, it's like crap. You know what I mean? It's like I hate winter because of ice. And we have a lot of black ice. You probably get that too, but man, it's terrible. It like today it, tomorrow it's supposed to be like 45. And then it's supposed to go back down to like 15 or 10. And then the wind chill will make it 15 below. And wow. we usually See, don't, I like winter, but I don't like the ice. We usually don't get to plant, do our gardening until like the second week after Mother's Day. Because that's, we always get this late frost and it sucks. Yeah, yeah. that's what we do. We usually wait for Mother's Day, but here they call it Derby Day because of the Kentucky Derby. What uh -huh. else are there? Absolutely love worm farming. Mine are due to feeding now coffee. Sent the blue mix bin up to 100. Wow. Whoa. You have to be careful. It, it overheats. Like yeah. starches, never blend your starches into your bedding because you will you will heat up that worm. You can even cook your worms. Mm. I did that accidentally one time. I mixed rice into it, and the bin got so hot on the outside. I had to lift my my tower up and put sticks in between to get ventilation in, and I had to mix up the bedding every five minutes until it came down in temperature. Wow. So if I do feed rice, it's only a surface thing, and it's on half of the bin. So never mix starches in. Bread, don't mix it in. Um, yeah, it can happen because it ferments really fast. So how does rice heat up then? That's what's weird though. You know, even if it's fermentation, the starches and the crazy. fermentation. Wow. Yeah, the bread too, the starch. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it it'll heat it up, and you can you can feel it. It's if you put a lot. Oh yeah, and you'll. Either the worms will run or you'll end up like killing them. Matt Akers is, um, I encourage them to get started. I'm not tooting my horn, but a lot of people came to my channel or your channel and they're, they're like, hey, just encourage me to get worms. I'm like, that's what I, I like doing. I'm glad I took that step to make YouTube videos because yeah. if I never did that or you guys never did that, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't connect. Life right. has its reasons and you know, mm -hmm. whatever happened before, there's always a reason right. why things happen. And I'm thankful that we're friends, man. Like I said, thank God oh, for I technology and all this stuff. Yeah. And, you know, Dude, don't be afraid to try. You know, don't be afraid to try to raise worms. Just give it a try. If you accidentally kill them, then, you know, figure out what you did wrong and just try again. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, Yeah, what I've done in the years, oh, boy, I think I've done everything to mine. And, uh, yeah, I want to thank you for the Thanks for the kind words, everybody. And uh, that's all I am. I, I show the love. You know what I mean? Like I said, I can't focus on AJ. 
because by myself I can't do nothing. So I gotta get back in the can. I'm all ah. yeah. <laughs> man My down, throat. woman down. <laughs> My laptop fell. <laughs> Thank you, Matt Acres. And they live right down the road from me. So I'm gonna try to do a road trip, hopefully, and um connect with them. But I pour concrete. And once the spring comes, I'm busy. I'm putting miles on in that mixer. Yeah, yeah the beer grains, beer grains yeah. will uh, make your compost hot. Yeah, they have um the worms like it. They they love that. I think the worm weirdo uses um the worm towers. Is that correct? Because I use like I said, I use bins. You have bus bins and you use totes, and I use a tote and I, I never used a worm farm. You have a worm farm 360 and all that too, don't you, worm lady? Gardening. I, do. I have the 360 mm -hmm. one. I have the regular one. I have one called uh, gusanito, which means little worm in Spanish. I found that somewhere on the internet. I don't even remember. And, okay. You know, I've, I've had the original worm factory for like, I've had it for like 20 years and the thing never dies. It never breaks. But, yeah. I hear and you. now I have a frog one. And that's one's up in my kitchen, but my husband bought it in purple so I could be a little more stylish because, you know, I like to decorate and clean and do things like that. Um, but that oh. was in my kitchen. But I'm sorry, I kind of lost my train of thought. You said about swamp worms. Are they like mild temper? Do they try to get out or how do you control them? Do they have to be in a certain temperature? Or no, yeah, I raise them just like the red wigglers. Okay. I know they come from the south, but so far they're doing well here. Um, I've heard that they do well with the cold. They like the basement hasn't bothered them at all. They're very active. So, mm -hmm. um, and I changed up my bedding a little bit. I added more. Um, it's like a sawdust, like wood flakes, not chunks. And I added a uh, straw. Um, I composted many years with straw, and I like it because it takes longer to break down. Okay. So to sift and do all that like fast. But the castings that come out with straw and leaves is amazing. Mm -hmm. It's black. It's so dark. So I gotta Sorry. like I'm gonna snake attack you. The did the worms eat the maxi? They did. They did. They did. did. They <laughs> did. Chomp, chomp, chomp. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, I can't watch that one. That was cool. <laughs> well, you know. Oh that, my God. That's a green. That's a green thing, you know. Yeah. I mean, I have two daughters. Exactly. And, exactly. Know, that would have cost exactly. me a million dollars. <laughs> exactly. So that was, um, yeah, and I had a lot of friends in Texas that did it too. A lot of like okay. friends, and um, and uh, even the gynecologist said it was a lot healthier and stuff. But you know, okay. I decided well, the worm's probably gonna like them, so I tried it. You know, I was, I was, I wasn't sure if I was gonna put that video up, but I, I understand. Know, People think I'm weird anyway, so oh, okay, let's go. <laughs> I did it. Um, but yeah, they ate it. I put a, a, a diaper one time in there, like a hundred percent cotton diaper, like a cloth one, and they ate that too. Okay, so yeah, worms like cotton. So if you have an old t shirt, you can moisten it and put it on the surface of your worm bin, and it keeps everything nice and moist, and they'll eat it eventually. Hello, Francis. Good to see you. She does a lot of great videos too. This is another YouTuber. Hi. Okay. Yeah, I think I've subscribed to her. How are you? Good. The uh, uh, really so far, I can see the comments. You went ahead. You gave me a good idea to try uh, composting some straw. Um, yeah. When I when I brought the the leaves in, it was wet in like fall, and and I introduced the slugs, and I am kicking myself. Mm -hmm. But right now, I, yeah. I pick that two or three out every maybe three or four days. Um, yeah. So I definitely have to, I still have to try to figure out what the heck I got to do to, uh, to <laughs> yeah. alleviate that. Um, I know a few tips that people gave um, was about changing from feeding like food scraps to more yeah. like a worm chow. That's funny, um, Brooke. <laughs> I'm going to try that. Well, uh, one day. I, I took leaves and I introduced them to my worm bin and you know the little the little snails the ones with the little shells on them yeah I had a million little babies I mean they were adorable 
but I couldn't control them. I tried everything. I ended up dumping that entire worm bin into my garden and the worm and that compost. I had to. I, I know, well, I'm, I'm, I'm not to that point yet, but it's, it's very frustrating. <laughs> Mine were bad. I kept squishing them. I mean, I tried everything, nothing, DE, nothing worked. So I had to get rid of them. But yeah. So now when I bring leaves in, I really like really crush them in case. So yeah. I smash anything, you know, a snail or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't, I, you know me, I don't put leaves in because I've seen other people that did that. I'm like, no, I'm not even going to risk it. And um, I've never had mites, thank God. But how do you eliminate mites? I mean, what's, if you get them in there, how do you get rid of them? I don't know how you get. Get rid of those I, put a, I sprinkle DE on the surface, but it's got to be the food grade kind because they have another one that's a chemical. Just get the one that says food grade and wet your surface down a little bit and then sprinkle it on top and leave it alone. Like don't wet it again because it'll, you know, but mites are a natural part of composting. You just have to watch for the red ones. The red ones are like predatory mites. And um, oh. also another thing that works for flying insects is, uh, believe it or not, mosquito dunks. What? Seriously? Yes. Mosquito okay. dunks are a natural bacteria. I think it's BT. So you can grind them up. And for each of my bin, I've put like an eighth of a teaspoon mm -hmm. and sprinkle it. And I have less like fruit flies and just things. Mm -hmm. that... And it doesn't hurt the worms. You know, it's a natural mm -hmm. bacteria. Yeah. If I'm right, I think um, Brooke at Peas Garden, I think she had a problem with some dead worms when they arrived. Is that correct, Brooke? So I think she did her first video. She had she had European night crawlers and some were dead. And I yeah, know another mites, thing mites too. Like, uh, mites like moisture. So if you have a lot of mites, fluff up your bin every day and let it dry out a little bit. It's not going to hurt the worms, but the mites will definitely die. They don't, there's, they a question, I'm sorry, there's a question right here. You know, I never use DE, but that, that doesn't the affect the, okay. No, it doesn't. As long as you get the food grade kind, don't get the other one because then you'll kill everything because it's a chemical. Um, and it's very fine powder. So when you're working with DE, wear a mask because you don't want to breathe that in. I mean, it's so fine. It's even finer than flour. So, yeah. And a bag will last you forever. I think I've had my bag for like seven years. Yeah, I've, noticed, I've noticed a few mites in mine, but nothing, nothing too bad. So I just kind of let them go. Yeah. And th they'll be there. Even if you don't see them, Adrian, they're there. They're just part of the world of composting. They, they won't hurt anything unless it's the bad ones. Mm -hmm. The thing that's good about mites is because of pets. You know what I mean? Oh, they're kind of like little fleas, aren't they? Is that what they kind of are? I don't really know. I mean, I know they look like the little tiny chiggers or whatever they call those things. That's, they, that's they look like they're... them, but chiggers will like bury under your skin. I've had chiggers in on my arm from working out in the woods, and it is horrible because the oh. itch. Oh man, um, but these these won't do that to you. <laughs> And you know what I notice when when there are mites naturally because they're part of the composting world they don't get on any other of my surfaces. Okay. Like if they're there, they're only in the worm bin. Like I don't see them crawling on the floor. I don't see them get on the leg of my table. I just they're like they just stay. Because if they were everywhere, then I couldn't have them upstairs in my house. So what does your husband think when you get those? Does your husband like freak out if he sees mites in your band? Does he ever mess with your worms or not? He doesn't. No, he doesn't mess with my worms. That's my my <laughs> thing. He just he just provides them for me. Like I've got anniversary stuff. gifts, and you know, he gets me worm bins or worm. You know, he got me a worm magnet for my fridge, and he just he just provides the things for me because he knows that makes me happy, and it's just my thing. But yeah, yes. he helps me once in a while. Now he helps me build things that I need because I I can't build a lot anymore because of my hands so when i say joe's building this yeah joe builds it um, <laughs> he put the grinder on that cart for me because he was afraid that if i took it outside it was going to topple over <laughs> it's very heavy so and don't you have a trauma or do you handshake all your sift all your castings well, i had that lady cheryl donate a sifter for me it's a one right. that i sift yeah. but um we recently got a vibrating motor 
and a regulator for it. And there's a, a worm guy that I'm subscribed to is um, Composting World, I think his name is, a World Composting, something like that. I don't remember. But he has a video where he upgraded his um, vibrating sifter. So Joe's going to build me one like his. Because the vibrating sifter, like Gitano has, you know, they're in the thousands. And I honestly don't want to invest in that because, you know, I'm debt free and yeah. I'm going to take a business loan or anything. Like that. Exactly. So That's awesome. We're going to build it and we'll figure it out and we'll play with it. And, you know, I got some springs to see if the vibrating will help it bounce and move. So that's what we're yeah. going to try next. Yeah. So the one I made, the sieve, it was with the quarter inch hardware cloth. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it was like 25 inches long by like 20 inches wide. So right. it's actually too big for the bus pan. So when I was trying to sift, oh, that was a pain. So I'm, I'm going to either look to, to make something smaller or even just kind of invest in something either off of Amazon or, or you know, find yeah. um, the quarter inch and like an eighth inch, uh, you know, hardware cloth type material to, uh, to help with the sifting. Um, the I don't have I know V had that hand trauma which was kind of cool or the hand spinning uh, sifter. Um, I'm I probably would like to get something like that, but uh, I don't think I'm going to be getting anything like that right now because I just built the uh, the raised beds in the backyard, so yeah. that was a little bit of an expense, and I still need to get some compost to fill them. Um, the one thing I would recommend for people is uh check around do like a local search um mm -hmm. it's actually in pennsylvania they harvest mushrooms and mm -hmm. they offer mushroom compost for free if you can oh, get them. wow now if if you have a vehicle like a like a large truck they can load it for you and it's like a 15 dollar fee or something so that's something definitely search you know for for any uh you know i did a search for compost and oh then you know really found that that's awesome. And you know, worms like um, mushroom compost. Okay. They do. You can use it in your worm bin for sure. With like but the fungus. Free. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> That's so, awesome. Um, can you explain to Francis what a trauma is, if you don't mind? It's kind of like a big screen it's, on a... Yeah, it's like a, it's like a big tube made out of a screen and it spins. <laughs> Usually they have different sizes. The top of it will have an eighth of a screen, and then it goes to a quarter inch so that the first part of the screen, you get the pure castings, and then you'll get eggs, the cocoons, and then the rest you'll get like baby worms and just the bigger chunks, and then the worms go out the other end. So, Hi, Dan. You know, you're not going to rescue every cocoon. You're just not. I, I've tried yeah. sitting there and picking them out. I, I you, You're not. You, you'll give yourself a nervous breakdown. You can't do it. Don't just let them go. Let them go. When I'm, I ship worms, I'm, I'm to, like, they're cocoons. Let them go. I'm trying. I'm trying to bait some out now. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'll, I'll give it. I'll give it about two weeks on the cup, and then maybe one more time, and then whatever's mm -hmm. left, it's going in the garden. That's <laughs> it. And Rick is hard. There's so many. You just can't do it. <laughs> oh, I know. There was a ton. <laughs> Rick just harvested a lot of castings recently. Yep. That was awesome. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so it ended up being twelve pounds. How, on right. average, how long does it? How, on average, how long does it take you to um sift castings? It could take like two to three hours. It depends on. Uh, it's not I, easy. I, I, no, I was it's not. I was recording the whole time, and the let battery died on, the, phone, or on the, uh, the camera. <laughs> so I was like, uh oh. Yeah. I went to say something else. I was like, oh, shoot, the, the camera turned off and then looked battery flash. And I'm like, uh -oh. oh, no. So, yeah. So luckily I had another one charged, popped it in and finished up. But uh, I think I had an hour and 20 minutes of, of recorded time. Oh, wow. So, so then it was like, <laughs> you know, OK, cut this out. Fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. <laughs> When I first started worm farming, I used to dump the whole thing on a tarp and sit on the floor, but that would take me hours because I just didn't want to let any of the little babies go. I wanted them all. 
And one day I, I was covered in castings. And I said, I, I can't do this anymore. So I just let them go. And that was it. Yeah, it, pro it probably would have been funny. I, I ended up, uh, when the battery did die, uh, I'm looking and I still had about a third of the uh, the sieve covered in. I just picked it up and, and shook the heck out of it. Worms <laughs> and passes went flying everywhere. Wow. I, like, I looked on the ground. There's a whole bunch of little, you know, baby worms crawling. I, I had to oh. run inside, get a dustpan, sweep them up. I'm like, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, I was, I was like, if it, it ended up being like I said, two hours, I was like, okay, I'm done. Exactly. <laughs> have, you had, have you had castings in your hair yet? I've had castings no, in my hair. Not yet. Oh yeah, I've had it sprinkled all over me. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, castings when are when they're wet, it is like impossible to wash. Uh -huh. Oh boy, it's a sticky mess. It really is. <laughs> So, do you store your castings once they're sifted? Do you put them in a closed container or do you let allow air to keep staying with them? How do you do yours? I put them in a container with a lid on it. Okay. Um, a little air gets in, but it's not sealed 100%. Um, but, you know, there's debates on castings whether you should use them wet or dry. And I've used both. And for okay. me, both work. Okay. So, I've taken my castings, let it dry 100%, and then I've planted them and re wet it, and my stuff has grown. So I don't know if the microbes go dormant or I, I don't know. But, you know, I've bought castings online and I have received them completely dry. And I've made worm tea out of them, and this still works fine. Yeah, there's a company that sent me a um, huge bag of samples of castings. I forget the name. I have the bag in my warm room. And it was such a fine powder and completely dry. And they were it worked fine. So I don't know. I think people just prefer one or the other. So with so with my castings right now, I have uh it in a seven gallon tote. I have the little bait cup in the center. I have yeah, a I saw it. piece of plastic on top and then and then the lid on top for right now. Right. And like every two or three days I just kind of pop open the lid, see, you know, I'll see the baby worms on the clear plastic or whatever. And I go, okay, well, mm -hmm. I'll give it another couple of days because I can see in the top of the uh, the bait cup, it's clear. So, yeah, like, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. it's still kind of high. So it hasn't broke down yet. So I was like, I'll just leave it and pop the lid back on it. Exactly. So question is, what kind of food do you give your worms? And this is a question for us. And um, I just give them food scraps most of the time. We don't drink coffee anymore. You know, we don't percolate it, so I give them, because we eat a lot of bananas, a lot of scraps, like, stuff like that. That's what I give my worms. Cardboard and newspaper are my go-to things. Um, Dan wants to know, what do you feed your worms? Yep, so for the, for the bedding, I go with the cardboard. Um, now, uh, in Delaware, they got rid of, uh, you can't have plastic bags anymore. So they started mm -hmm. using paper bags now a lot. Or, yeah, so, the like, the brown paper. Really? So I, sh I shred that, I shred newspaper, and I shred mm -hmm. cardboard, and that's kind of my go-to for the bedding. And mm -hmm. then any any type of uh, thing that I grow, so, you know, pieces of tomato, pieces of uh, green pepper I'll put in there. Um, I just harvested a bunch of carrots, mm -hmm. cut all the tops off, that goes in the freezer, and then I throw that in the bin. I definitely try to, to freeze the food first and yeah. then bring it yeah. out, hopefully mm -hmm. a day before. Sometimes okay. I remember, sometimes I don't. Mm -hmm. So, um, so with that, it, it helps to basically freeze and break those cells up, and then it it kind of turns more to mush. So then the bacteria and the worms can get to it a little quicker. That's right. Okay. If it has insects on it; it'll kill them. Mm. Correct. Yes. Well, so, I feed my worms. It depends. My pet worms, I feed them everything. And my breeder worms mostly get chow, but I do give my breeder worms kitchen scraps also occasionally. I know a lot of um, commercial worm farmers don't do that, but I like to do that for mine because, you know, I don't know. I just feel bad for them. Why would you eat chow all the time? But anyway, mm -hmm. as far as my bedding, you know, I can do anything on the planet. Right mm -hmm. now I'm doing straw and uh, pine shavings and pit moss. It's not peat moss. Pit moss is like a, um, it's like a shredded paper. Mm -hmm. It's in big bags. You could get it at the farm store. Um, the reason I did that is because 
the heat in my worm room was drying out my bins. And you can tell when it's drying out because it'll be dry on the edges. But when I started using this bedding, my, my bins are staying moist longer. So it's less work for me. But, you know, I've done newspaper, cardboard. Um, I did construction paper one time. And it looked like a giant rainbow in there. Um, I, I think I've done everything. Tissue paper, tissue paper from the dollar store. Like the one that you put gifts in, I've done that. Um, so, yeah, I've done so many things for the years. Oh, um, a rabbit manure. Sometimes I mix rabbit manure into the bedding because they like manure. Mm -hmm. so, so you have rabbits too? It doesn't smell. No, we had a rabbit and a raccoon or something. Some predator got it out there. They opened the, the hutch. Yeah, it was awful. Wow. Um, but no, I either buy it on eBay or I get some kid around here to give me some because I live around farms and there's there's poop everywhere here. Mm -hmm. But no, I don't I don't have time to take care of the rabbit. I wish I did, but you know it was my kid's pet, and once it left, I said no, no, it's, it's in heaven, mm -hmm. no more. <laughs> yep, and that's the thing with worm castings too. Um, like this question, this feedback here. Yeah, you don't want to just get someone who just feeds their worms as cardboard only. You know, you want to get everything in their their bodies, you know, all the different. Like, we need all types of vegetables and proteins right. and carbohydrates as well. That That's why I was thinking about trying to add some straw this season, see how that, mm -hmm. that works, too. So if you add straw and your worms are going to be inside, go to, like, um, Tractor Supply and get, like, chopped straw. It comes in huge bags and it's not expensive. Because that straw will be clean. Okay. Um, I've used straw that I get at the farm store, like in my garden. And I've used it outside to compost. But when I got it in the house one day, and it, it had a whole bunch of bugs in it. So I had to get it back outside right away. So at least you know that the top straw will be a clean version. Okay. And, and it'll last you forever, Rick. You'll have the stuff forever. Well, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'll, I was thinking about using it for a mulch, too, in the garden. Yeah. Yeah, they like it. They like it. They'll eat it. It'll break down. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I, I spend some money on my worms buying them things like that. But, you know, I'm trying to produce nice castings and keep them as healthy as possible. So I could just consider it an investment. And, yeah, when it comes to worms, um, Brooke, don't overfeed them. Start off less, you know what I mean? Because yeah. less is always best, you know? Um, just because you got like 20 pounds of food for the week, don't you don't have to feed one pound of worms 20 pounds of food. No, you know, you can like, there. you're gonna you have a problem, food. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah you'll but, have a big problem, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you're welcome, Dan. But yeah, that's the thing. We always, when we're new, we get so excited and impatient, and we want to see our worms multiply overnight. But, but you know, if you build it, they will come. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah. And it sometimes it takes them a while to get started. And then once they start eating, then it almost becomes like a frenzy for them. When I take mm -hmm. a food out of my freezer, I don't defrost it and then put it in. I just make a hole in it, just put it in there frozen and cover it back up. Okay. It'll it defrost in there, it provides moisture and the worms they then they attack it. Now I've so never done it for the African night crawlers. I won't ever do that for African night crawlers. <laughs> Do the African night crawlers eat a lot? Do are they more like the carbon or what? Are they big consumers yeah, they, of food? They eat a lot of carbon. They're more carbon eaters. They like cardboard and leaves and newspaper and like those paper bags. They okay. Eat. When I put food in there, they devour usually the cardboard and that type of stuff before the other stuff. They're so, pretty worms. I love how the Africans look. That purple tent. They're so long. They're just a nice looking worm. Yeah, they are very pretty. Yeah, they got that purple hue to them. But, you know, they do better in the southern states where it's nice and toasty. Mm -hmm. okay. I've tried. I my, Some of mine are still alive, but I know some of them have suffered. Yeah, but, exactly. Know, that's the ice yeah. storm. Yeah, so one, you thing, can one thing I would definitely, uh, you know, recommend if somebody was just starting off um to shoot for getting at least like say 500 a half a pound to to a thousand one pound of, of worms um mm -hmm. i i i was cheap and and i struggled for for a year i was like oh, i'm just starting off with you know 50 worms and and they did grow 
But oh my <laughs> gosh, it was it, it's 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 painful now looking back because in, in two and a half months, you know, they completely demo- one pound demolished, you know, the bedding mm-hmm. and, and these food scraps. Oh and yeah, that was like, fast. Yeah, and and then I was like, you know, when I'm checking them, I'm I'm finding them where they're mating, and then I open up the bin, and there's you know, fifteen cocoons on top. Then the next time there's twenty, and I'm just like, wow, mm-hmm. it, was, it, it was so cool. So so that would be one one tip is is start off with at least a half a pound, yeah. maybe a pound, and and, the and, main- and it'll, 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 you'll have faster turnover mm-hmm. and and be able to uh, kind of see um, the the evolution of the bin a little, it's a little neater, you know? I mean, they, don't get yeah. me wrong. When I started with 50, yeah. it still worked. Yeah. I got no. in like two and a half months, the same amount that I got in like a year and a half. Right. So, <laughs> like, now don't be trying to, don't be trying to steal my video topic, but <laughs> when, when it comes to worms, two signs I think for health, healthy worm bin is if you see sprouts in your farm, or if you see cocoons, you know? Yeah. Sprouts are amazing how they can grow when there's no light. So that goes to show that castings are, are amazing. If you have a question for us, then another question. What type of worms would you recommend for South Florida outdoor worm beds? I think you'd go Africans, wouldn't they? An African nightcrawler. <laughs> you know, it's a tropical worm. You can also do a European nightcrawler out there. You just gotta keep them moist and don't don't put them in direct sunlight because you'll you'll they'll melt. But like um, in Texas, I never had my worms outside because we had a problem with fire ants. Oh wow! They would uh yeah they invade a worm bin and your worms are gone within a few hours. Uh, I saw how much food you put in there, Brooke. Don't put any more than that. Wait until they're like more than halfway finished with that and then add more food. And stems on strawberries, stems of any kind usually take a little longer to break up. Like an avocado will take forever. Yeah. You know, I've seen, um, I think but, Patrick, Patrick always, he got the pliers out, vermicomposting, and had to crack that thing. Yeah, the peach, the peach pit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, it'll eventually get there. But like, like corn on the cob, they'll eat the corn right away, and that little cob will stick around for a long time. I hear you. So, what are your thoughts on corn cobs? Do you think you could just put like three corn corn cobs in there and they'll be good for months or what? Like I said, no, not months. I've done it though. Okay. I've done it. Once they eat the corn on the outside, I consider them like done with the food. And that's right. They'll mess around with the cob, but they won't really like eat it. It'll just break down by natural decomposition. But they love corn though. If you want to attract corn, uh, worms to the surface, put mm-hmm. some corn in there. Oh, and wow. just wait a few days, wait for the corn to like ferment, and then when you go like this to the corn, you're gonna have a million worms. And with Dan, if they you get the it. chance, Dan, if your worm bed gets worm bed gets successful, I want to see a coconut before and after. I want to know if worms eat coconut and how long it takes. That's my question. Do a video on that one if you can do a time lapse or something. <laughs> you know, I think they'll eat a coconut. I think so. It's natural. It's food. Uh, who knows how long it'll take, though? That That's a good one, AJ. I got to go get me a coconut now. <laughs> yeah, I want to know. Seriously. But I wouldn't put the milk in there. Don't. I wouldn't yeah. put the thing in there. I would crack it open, drink the milk, and then put the coconut in. See? You gave some good feedback. Someone, Brooke said, you know, oh, she decided so today to not food less, which is good. You're welcome, Brooke. There's another question that came up. Welcome, Erica. What do you think of large bottomless worm boxes, wooden boxes placed directly on the ground, red wigglers? Well, I, I, have, say, I have a giant barrel outside that's uh, plastic, and it's directly on the ground with holes in it. And mm-hmm. the worms come and go as they please. They've kind of trained themselves to go according to the seasons. Uh, but you're going to have every kind of composting insect in there. So if that's okay with you, then it's fine. But if you put wood on the ground, too, in a few years, it'll break apart. Like one of my worm boxes right now outside, like my gardening boxes, it's falling apart because it's wood. I don't use, I don't, I don't seal my worm boxes with any chemicals or anything. So it's going to break down. And I don't think I would purchase worms. Me personally, I wouldn't. 
purchase them for the outdoor worm bed, you know what I mean? Because you got more of the regular earthworms and spiders and millipedes and centipedes come in. Would you yeah. put, would you buy 500 worms or uh, that many and put them in an outdoor worm bed? Or we just take them out of your, how would you, see, I don't want to waste my worms on that, you know what I mean? Yeah. It depends okay. how many you got, you know, if you have enough to like waste on that or go outside, then do it. But, you know, yeah. then buy them. It depends what your goals are. Yeah, yeah. I want to have a nice. Now, goal, I, I, know, have a I know with having the compost bin, you know that if if I was doing something more outside, I would yeah. try to try to scoop the ones that are already outside in the compost area, right. um, as opposed to adding. But you know, if if that's kind of all you have as an option, it may you um, know it yeah. could be a good option. Have you found any um, Alabama jumpers in your garden, Rick? No. Oh boy, I have. They're the they, is that an invasive worm? Yes. Okay. They say it is, yeah. And what's weird about it is they are they're giant and they're um they're very muscular like. But oh, when wow. they when they wiggle away, they slither away like a snake. And that oh that freaks me out. I, I don't even like touching them. And I did, and I, oh, wow. I ended up doing it and I don't know where it landed, but anyway, I know I have them because I've seen them. But they're usually around the straw near my worm bin. They like to hang out there. But they, they go like that when they leave. Oh. Yeah, I kind of Googled it after you, first, after you first had it. And it was saying, like, you know, typical worm maybe travels, like, you know, up to 100 yards in, like, a year. And, and those things go up to, like, you know, 30 miles or something crazy. Yeah. So they just, once they get into an area, they just, they just spread. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They haven't hurt my garden though, so I think they just like my compost pile and they're sticking there, but Yeah, they, they tend, they they tend to go up after that leafy matter. And, yeah. And that's and that's the problem. Instead of having those leaves break down, you have yeah. these, these evasive worms coming in, eating it, and then they just kind of move on to the next area. So then it, it really affects the the uh you know the ecosystem. Um, Yes, the you okay. know, your natural your natural plants and and uh, yeah. you know it's just it's it's bad for them. A lot of people um breed them to sell them. I've seen them for sale on oh. eBay. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. If you go on eBay, look it up, mm. and uh, they they breed them for fishing. But you mm. know, cocoons gets loose, and then there you go. Yeah, I, I actually went ahead and uh, I did uh, the master gardening class for for Delaware mm -hmm. and. Uh, you know, they were talking about that in one of the, the sections and, um, you know, it definitely affects your native plants. And um, they were actually talking about um, like kind of like deforestation in our area. And yeah. there's they actually put in to, like bills uh, through the state to say, if you cut down forest, when you go to build, you have to actually plant so many native plants to, okay. to try to reintroduce um them okay. back into the area yeah here they say if you see them kill them oh, oh. Really? a bucket yeah. of water or something i have red wigglers and others if i want to do a form from can i pick some to start sure i yeah, mean it'll be a little bit but yeah if that's all you yeah. got sure pick them out yeah that'd be the way to do it yeah so i try to do an outdoor worm bin i'll put them in a 33 gallon trash can but and the spring, or just, you know, when winter's coming, I'll put them, bring them back in the house. So, yeah, that way I try to put like, you don't want to put grass and stuff because it he heats up. So I'm trying to put too much grass in my outdoor worm bin. I'll put leaves, but less grass. You they know? love the grass. Yeah. Grass, don't mix it in. That's for sure because you're exactly. right. It but they love eating it. If you put it on the surface, oh yeah, they love it. Yeah. Thanks for coming by, Brooke. Appreciate you. Bye. There's one tomorrow. The Garden Worm Lady is going to be going live tomorrow. I don't know her time, but go to her channel. Click on the bell so you'll know when it starts. Click the bell for Rick's that bell and you'll find out. Yeah, so we we'll all know when someone's going live. Yeah, I don't know what time either. I got to do some stuff at the house and yeah, bake a little bit. Uh, but if you want Rick and V, you can click that link up there. 
it's like an affiliate thing, but you can get the free copy, the free stream, as long as you want. If you want to try it, because I like this better than going YouTube Live, because I like to see people, and it's completely yeah, different. This, this yeah, funny. I like. Yeah, I like to see people too. So, Rick, we got to try this. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I watched over forty streamyard videos just to get this figured out. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> but it's not hard to do once you get set up. You know, you just need a. I got my smartphone hooked up and. Got my other TV, uh, computer screen here, and once you get the basics figured out, it's good to go. I'm on my own. Yeah, YouTube. Hey, Jay, is your wife ever gonna pop in and say hi? No, they went to a. They call it a um, um, a spotlight concert. Uh huh. So um, I don't really like musicals and stuff unless my kids are in it. So oh. they went. So I stayed home because you guys are more important right now, you know. <laughs> but no, I don't really. I'm not a big musical person. I'm, you know what I mean. I'm more like let's watch a gangster movie or a, you know, Hannibal Lecter movie or something. <laughs> but no, it's all good. She'll be home in a little. Went to a concert on Valentine's Day. We went to a concert. It was fun. I haven't been to a concert in years. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, I definitely, uh, the next time I'll have to have my charger because <laughs> I'm, I'm under, I'm under 20% right now. Oh, well, yeah. I <laughs> no, I definitely understand. And I know you're an hour ahead of me for your time and stuff. Yeah. yeah it's it's 907 for me. Yeah, yeah. it's 907 here too. Yeah. But I, I think we're the last three in here. So, um, you guys want to end it, we can touch base again and I'll try to make your live stream tomorrow. And I'll bar check and let me know. You know, we can touch base in the emails and yeah, you know, let yeah. me know. Yeah, yeah this, in, in the summer, maybe we could do a live stream outside, like in our That's garden. Right. I think that'd be nice. That's right. But uh, but I appreciate you guys taking time out to come and yeah, come out. Thank you know, you. this was awesome. Yeah, thank you for doing it. it. I appreciate it. No, yeah. so um, well, I'm gonna go get my Chinese food. Um, <laughs> okay, see you guys. So I just want to say, if you like what you're hearing from me, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Hit that little bell notification. <laughs> you don't miss another video. Exactly. Take care, Warren Lane and everyone else. We appreciate you all coming out tonight. Have a yep. blessed day. Take care, guys. Yep. Thanks. Yep. Good night, Bye. 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 Bye.